YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another Funko Pop mystery box. So I know it's been a while, um, but I did track down this mystery box from Spastic Collectibles. This was a $40, I believe it's a damaged mystery box with a guarantee value of $50. So it was a no brainer for me, had to pick this one up. We're already uh, guaranteed more than what we spent. So let's open this one up, see if we got any cool grails to add to the collection and uh, wish me luck. Here we go. Guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content. And hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, this was a damaged mystery box from Spastic Collectibles. Some pretty cool grails in here. The top grails were Bane from Batman. They had Bart Simpson, which I'm very excited to get, uh, hopefully, in this box. Um, it's the original one, not the newer ones. They had Michael Jackson, which I also be very excited to get. Uh, they also had that animated Mr. Freeze from uh, the original Batman animated series. So some pretty cool grails here, all of them right there, so you guys can see. Um, but hoping for anything in this picture, but definitely uh, the the uh, Bart Simpson, Michael Jackson, Bane, and Mr. Freeze would be my top choices. So let's unbox this uh, or un op open up this box, see what we got. I think it might have been four pops um, per box, but I'm not entirely sure. I did get another one, so stay tuned to, for that video. That box that came in is actually a little bit bigger than this one, so I don't know if that means there's something better in there, um, but we'll see. We'll just do these one by one. There is one in a protector. No, I don't feel any protector, so we'll just do these one by one, which I don't really, uh, I'm not really upset about not being a protector, because, um, you know, like I said, it's a damage mystery box, so it still might mean that we get a grail in here. So let's do these one by one, and we'll go through the prices and see how we made out. First pull. Oh, okay, so this is Han Solo in Carbonite from The Empire Strikes Back. So, I do remember this from the uh, Empire Strikes Back movie, where he was in, like, Jabba the Hutt's, uh, like, you know, clubhouse or whatever, um, club, <laughs> and, um, you know, he was in that Carbonite, so I, I do remember this from Star Wars, I have seen the old Star Wars movies and the prequels, I just haven't seen the new ones, so, um, this is a cool pop, I'm not sure if I'll keep it because it doesn't really fit into my collection, um, but if I was a Star Wars collector, this is, um, definitely one I'd be happy that Funko made, and, um, yeah, I've never seen it before, I didn't know they made this, um, but it's a very cool looking pop, so, not mad about this pull at all. It's always nice to see uh, new things coming in these boxes instead of the same old, same old things. So um, definitely appreciate getting something different in this box, even if it's something I don't really necessarily collect. That Luke with the Yoda on the back there, that'd be a dope one to actually have. Um, you know, like I said, I don't um, collect them all the time, but that one would be nice to have. So let's see, this Luke, or this, uh, excuse me, this Hans Solo is actually only going for a total of eight bucks. So. Um, yeah, not a bad start. Um, still got, what, $42 to go to get the guarantee value, but I thought this was going to be a little bit more money. It's actually new. It's from this year, 2020, so that's probably why I haven't seen it yet. But there you go. First pull, uh, pull is this Han Solo. Alright, guys, moving right along. Let's see if we can get something on the second pull a little bit better than 8 bucks. Number two. What is going on here? That is a funny... Pop. So this is Chester Cheetah, but he is the uncool Chester Cheetah. This is a limited edition pop right here. It's Chester Cheetah without his glasses. That is a strange pop. This is a keeper for me. I have never seen um, a pop with that, with that happen where he doesn't have the glasses. They're not in here at all. I don't know if they just fell off and somebody put it back in the box or if Funko decided not to make it but this is the weirdest Funko Pop I pulled in a while um but I like it that is very dope so I, um I'll look the price up but this one is a one of a kind to me so this is priceless but let's see who he goes for without with the sunglasses on that is very funny I and that's actually some attention to detail on Fungo's end as well I just thought there wouldn't be anything behind those sunglasses and I wouldn't even been mad at Funko if that was the case but for them to put his eyeballs behind it. Gotta give kudos to Funko for quality control and details right there. Uh, but he's nine bucks with the sunglasses on, but this one is a one-of-a-kind 
priceless gem here. This is the most expensive pop in my collection now. So, very, very cool pop. I'm not upset about this at all. And uh, yeah, it's uh, something very different to see in the mystery box. So, all right, so maybe we'll get some more hidden treasures in here. We got two more to go. This one feels like it's had a little bit of damage on it. So, definitely a damaged mystery box by not having those sunglasses on the Chester Cheetah. But let's see what this is. Oh, all right, so this is the Series 1 Batgirl. So, this is an old one. This is from 2011. Um, it's got the production date down there, 2011. So I know they've reprinted this a few times, um, but I think this one's actually one of the older uh, prints of this Batgirl. So I'll have to do a little bit more research to find out. Um, but I don't have this pop in my collection. I don't really collect all the DC ones, but I do like the old school ones. A lot of people don't like that, whether it's just hands or just by the side, but I really do. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I do appreciate these old school Funko Pops. Um, it's kind of how it all started. And uh, let's check into this a little bit. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of research and um, see if I can find out if this is the first iteration of Bad Girl right here. All right, guys. So yeah, like I said, this is a Volted one. I thought they reprinted this one a few times, but it appears to be Volted and actually is going for a total of $37 in the Funko app. So that is a nice one. It's going for a little bit more actually on eBay, um, but you know, it's got some damage on the back right there. Um, but $37 for this bad girl, that is a very nice pull. It's probably gonna be the best one in this box, um, but definitely a keeper in the collection. I'm very, very happy about this pull. And uh, yeah, very, very dope one. So there you go, bad girl is the third pull from this mystery box. All right guys, so we have one final chance to get one of those on the uh, picture. Again, I don't think that was on the picture. Let me check real fast. Uh, I don't think that was one on there. No, it wasn't. So we definitely have potential still to get something even better in this box. So let's see what we got with number four. Oh man, so this is a duplicate. So this is Shada Azaiwa from My Hero Academia. So um, like I said, I have this one already. I do have this one. I also have him in his eraser head costume. Um, very cool, you know, here on the show. Um, if you haven't watched the show yet, I've said it a million times, you definitely need to check it out. Um, but unfortunately, ending this on a duplicate, but nice I pulled that bad girl last. Um, I know this one's not going for more than the bad girl, but let's check and see uh, what my boy Shota Zywa is going for. All right, guys, so we're ending this video off on a $15 pop right there. So he's actually still available. I kind of think uh, eventually Fungo's going to start uh, vaulting this first wave of uh, My Hero Academia pops, but they haven't yet. So uh, right now this one's just a vaulted or a regular available $15 common right there. All right, guys, so I think I did very well overall. Some pretty cool pulls. We had that on, on a priceless gem of Chester Cheetah. We had a Batgirl vaulted and some other cool pops as well. Definitely my favorite guy to be that Chester Cheetah, but that Batgirl is a close second. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section down below. If you have not already, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Here's the total value as far as I do with the Funko Pops. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, check me out on there as well at The Pop Savage. You can stay connected there as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, I'll see you later.